What's going on my broskies, my name is Totski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have a data download here on Global and on Japan for the brand new treasure map Sugo Fest. Now I know that a lot of people are going to be complaining of the fact that you know we're getting another brand new legend, I know some people talked about it in the community post but I mean look it's a, it's a TM legend, this character is going to be relatively reoccurring so I don't think you got to stress that much and the thing is is we, there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be like a part 3 to the Super Sugo celebration going on right now which is obviously featuring the luffy kaido law blackbeard stuff uh, i'm pretty sure there is going to be a part three which is going to be occurring uh probably in in the middle of the treasure map maybe maybe a little sooner we'll, we'll wait and see but yeah it's going to be debuting luchi and kaku as a brand new dual unit here for the tm and i will say after having a brief read at luchi and kaku i'm actually relatively impressed with what this character is capable of doing this is a really interesting unit, as this character kind of uses abilities that, like, we haven't seen before, as well as a really unique gimmick within their switch effect that I think is going to make them see a lot of play in future events moving forward. So, let's just jump into it. We've got a lot to talk about, so we're just going to jump into it. The first Sugo Fest here, September 6th, is when the banner will be going live, um, and then we'll have a look at the at the actual units here, because these units, man, I, I'm pretty impressed with what they did with Luchi Ikaku. This unit is, is really, really cool. Like, this is the type of unit that, honestly... I can see this character being used in almost every single treasure map moving forward just because of the way that this character is designed. Uh, let's have a look at what this character actually does though. So let's start with Luchi's captain effect. So Luchi himself is quick driven fighter. Driven fighter is the whole theme with this unit in every single facet. So uh, Luchi's captain effect gives minus one turn of cooldown to driven and fighters and then reduces the characters, this character's own switch effect by three at the start of the quest and then boosts driven and fighter characters attack by 5.25 when you have a match slot 4.75 times otherwise 1.3 hp decks and quick slots are matching and then when the enemy is inflicted with a damage reduction status it mentions here does not apply to status inflicted by captain ability or crewmate ability so where did they have to suffice that but you know it says that whenever the enemy has a rainbow shield whenever they give themselves a rainbow shield it reduces that effect by 70%, it says the effect increase or decrease only occurs once, and then boost driven and fighter characters attack by 2.25 for three turns. That is phenomenal. Like, that's a really cool effect here. So, anytime they get a rainbow shield, let's say it's a, you know, a 50% damage reduction, it just gets set down to zero. Or if it's a 90% damage reduction, it goes down to 20%. And that's really cool because it means you, a lot of times if that gets inflicted, that means that you just don't have to worry about removing the rainbow shield i mean heck even if it's a one i mean they, they don't really do 100 percent rainbow shields because that's damage nullification more often than not it's like 95 or it's like 99 percent you know bumping that down by 70 percent down to like 29 percent 25 percent even that is like good enough to to get through in a lot of cases that's really really good and then uh whenever they do that you also get a 2.25 times attack boost for three turns so it just seems really really good we'll move over to kaku because this one uh, this is the one where i was like most excited for because it says it reduced this is this character's own switch effect by five turns at the start of the quest we'll have a look at the switch effect in just a moment driven and fighter characters 5.25 i mean it's the same kind of captain ability here but this is a little bit different in that when the enemy inflicts a threshold that uh on their side of the field it reduces the threshold by 70 percent and then gives driven and fighter characters a 2.25 or boost for three turns so a little bit different where this character wants to abuse that kind of mechanic instead of you know luchi says if they've got rainbow shield kaku says if they have threshold so it is a little bit different but honestly it is still really cool and if you have one of each character up on at the same time with luchi and kaku then you, anytime they inflict like rainbow shield or threshold you can reduce the effect of it you get attack and all boost it's really cool and then of course you have a look at their dual captain effect here so after you use their special to become that dual form they're 5.5 times attack with a matching slot 5.25 otherwise six times attack boost um, when the enemy has defense up damage reduction or a threshold status so that's interesting because a lot of the times you want to be removing those gimmicks but they actually want the enemy to have these gimmicks up so that you get the bigger attack boost it's really interesting 
uh, Dex and Quick Slots are matching, and then when the enemy inflicts Rainbow Shield or Threshold, it reduces it by 70%, and then you get a 2.25 times attack boost for Driven and Fighter for three turns. Just really cool captain ability, just unique stuff, which I like to see. We just, we've never seen this before. So it's a really, really unique effect here. Uh, I guess let's pivot to the switch effect first. So the, the generic switch, it does do 20 times their attack and non-type damage to all enemies. That's really cool that a switch effect is doing damage. And it, there are some switch effects that do like end of turn damage, but there, I think there's only one other switch effect that I can remember that does damage when you use it. And that is the Kaido crew character. But I believe they only do damage when you use their super switch effect. This character does damage on their normal switch, which is really cool. It also reduces defense by 50%, and then you get a 1.5 color affinity for Driven and Fighter. But more importantly, their super switch only requires 5 switches. And remember, when you set Kaku as your captain at the start of the quest, he gives minus 5 to your super switch gauge, Luchi gives minus 3. It's obviously really, really good. And then the super switch. Reduce Driven and Fighter cooldown by 1, set their defense to 0, set enemy defense to 0, and it also does 60 times this character's attack in non-type damage to all enemies, ignoring defensive effects and defense, as well as giving Driven and Fighter a 2.25 times color affinity boost. So the fact that you can start a quest and have this super switch ready to go means you can immediately activate it, it does cooldown, it does defense reduction, it does damage that goes through everything, which allows you to wave clear like the first two stages of a treasure map, for example. If you have double Kaku, bing bing, you move into the final stage immediately. So yeah, that's really cool that that, that is an actual thing that you can actually do. Uh, let's have a look at the special ability, because that's the only thing we haven't had a look at. So this special ability here, let's, let's break this one down. It does 100 times their attack in non-type damage to all enemies, ignoring defensive effects and defense. So you can even just use their special to wave clear as well, which is great. It reduces chain lock and attack down by seven turns, so you've got a bit of utility. It sets the chain multiplier minimum value to 3.25 and maximum to 30 for two turns, so you get a 3.25 times chain boundary, which is really strong, especially because it removes chain lock and then applies this one, so that's really neat. If the crew has a color affinity boost at three times or more when you launch the special, it will further increase your color affinity boost by 1.2 times for a cap at 4.5. That's pretty cool too. So I will say it is annoying that the 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 color affinity boost has to be at three times or higher in order for the multiplier to be inflicted to it. So it means if it's below the three times multiplier, then it just doesn't do anything, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm not a big fan of that effect. I wish it was just any any color affinity gets buffed by 1.2. I think that would have been really, really cool. Furthermore, if the enemy has Rainbow Shield Threshold when you launch the special, it will increase your color affinity boost up to a three times multiplier. So it means if you're running double Luchi Kaku and you already have a color affinity boost, then you can go ahead and use, you know, their special ability to, you know, get color affinity boost and then you can extend it or whatever it is because there's a three times boost, extends it by two turns, and then after that becomes Luchi and Kaku for three turns. So if you're on double Luchi Kaku, you can get potentially a color affinity boost from, remember, their switch effect, which is a 2.25. Special ability can buff it up to three times, and then a secondary special can multiply it again by 1.2. A bit convoluted, you have to use double Luchi Kaku or another color affinity boost to really get the most out of it in order to get the high, the high damage with that color affinity, but realistically, I think that's fine. I think the real draw to using this character in content is the speed of which you are going to be clearing mini bosses through using the switch effect to wave clear those, those uh, really annoying mob stages. And then a special ability that has a bit of utility, chain boundary, uh, and then buffing color affinity. Like, I think the, the special is, is just fine. Like, I'm not really, like, that hyped about it. It's more of just the, the switch and the captain effect are just incredibly unique. And I feel like that's the reason why this character may potentially see use in the future, right? Uh, let's move a little bit deeper now and have a look at the potential abilities. This character does have shipbind resistance, does have the provoked attack debuff, uh, and also has the cooldown reduction. Another good reason why this character is probably going to see play is because even during like mini bosses in a treasure map where this character might not get cooldown, you still get minus five turns of cooldown at the start of the quest. And even if the character does get cooldown, you know, they only get maybe potentially on, on treasure maps, like later on down the line, they'll probably only get like minus five, minus seven turns of cooldown. That additional minus five really does make a difference. So all in all, I think that this character is pretty well designed. I, I'm a big fan of what they're doing here. However, 
it doesn't end here. This character is also... Wow, okay, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Let me go ahead and fix that one. Okay, so we fixed the sprite there. The sprites were a bit buggy, but we got it to work there. So, Luchi and Kaku in Pirate Rumble, I think, is going to be one of the most powerful characters to really look out for. The only real issue is, is once again, they're focused on Driven and Fighter, and I don't know if this character is, is going to be, like, really easy to build a good team for, but on paper, this, this character's abilities seem very, very good. So let's have a look at the Rumble ability. So Driven and Fighter characters get 5 attack, 5 health, and 5 blow away percent up. The blow away percent is, is you know, whatever. That doesn't really matter that much. But the, the 5 attack and, and 5 HP is good. And then every time this character does damage, up to 2 times, gives level 2 attack, level 2 speed. So this character can potentially get level 9 attack to, to themselves, and then uh, level 4 speed as well to themselves. So relatively self-sufficient, you know, which is cool. So uh, I like that rumble ability, and the fact that it works for two separate classes is good, so there's a bit of flexibility with, with, with how you can build him in, in Pi Rumble. The special ability, though, is absurd. 31 CT gives himself level 15 attack for 5 seconds, and then targets two enemies with low health for 2.5 damage. When you have five or more driven ill fighters, he then targets two enemies with low HP for three times damage. And then if you have eight characters that are driven or fighter on your team, so if you have a full driven fighter team, driven or fighter, doesn't have to be driven and fighter combined, but driven or fighter characters, a full team, he then targets two enemies with low HP for four times damage. So the fact that this character can hit boom 2.5, boom three times boom four times damage all with a, 50, a level 15 attack up before that gets activated this is going to be one of the hardest hitting characters in pirate rumble uh so definitely be on the lookout and the fact that you can synergize this with potential halving of stats like if you if you are able to halve stats and then get this guy to launch this the, the character special this character feels like it's almost guaranteed to knock something out especially because he does target low hp characters which is a big deal Meaning that the characters that he that he's going to hit have the lower HP thresholds, higher chance at knocking them out, which is a good thing. You want to target the low HP characters so they get out of there, bring on the bench units. Typically, that's what you want to do, and this character does that. So it's going to be a relatively annoying threat in Pirate Rumble, I feel. It's just, I don't know what his best team is going to be because fighters are pretty bad i would say though i will say that you know um super tandem luffy did six plus recently and he is now fighter centric in in pirate rumble so i think he may have some synergy with him we'll wait and see driven obviously have some pretty good characters though his behavior pattern is, is just what you'd see from an attacker style unit he does evade paralysis which is pretty bad that's one of the worst uh, resistances you can have and he does reduce damage taken from powerhouse and shooters by 30 percent which is fine you know a little bit of damage reduction there so overall I i'm pretty impressed i think i think luchi and kaku are a character to 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 be reckoned with i think that they've got some really unique stuff going on a very good character for future treasure maps as well um, so I'm a big fan of what they've done here. Let's move on because we've got two new uh, Rumble Rare Recruits to have a look at. So let's have a look at Stussy. Um, a lot of people have been predicting that Stussy would get a Sugo Fest exclusive sometime soon. And the fact that this character is releasing as a random TM Rare Recruit would mean, in my opinion, that, that we're not going to be seeing a Legend Stussy anytime soon. But I could be wrong. We'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, so for Stussy, she is a quick driven Cerebral. And her special ability will give 6 turns of bind removal, 15,000 HP heal, reduces special charge time by 1 turn, extends the duration of your chain locks by 1, so obviously with Luchi and Kaku granting 2 turns of chain boundary, this can extend that. It also changes adjacent slots including block into matching. If you have an attack buff and an orb buff when you launch the special, it will boost your chain multiplier by plus 1.4 for 3 turns, that's actually really good. And then if the crew has a, an attack boost when you launch the special, so it's basically saying if you have an attack boost but you don't have an orb boost, then it's going to give Quick Driven and Cerebral a 2.25 orb boost for 3 turns. And then after that, boost their attack by 2.25 for 3 turns. The way that I could see this being used is if you have an overridable attack boost, because then you could potentially get like the, these buffs lasting for 3 turns. Uh, we'll have to see exactly how that actually works, but... Um, Stussy seems relatively okay, uh, bind removal, healing effect, cooldown reduction, buffing chain, adjacent slots matching, potentially getting a, a chain boost if you have an attack and an orb boost, so Stussy's pretty interesting, she's not like the most, um, you know, game-breaking TM Rare Recruit I've ever seen, but she's got some pretty cool abilities. 
does resist special reverse of course additional auto healing at the end of the turn is pretty neat uh, this character does also have um fear resistance which is kind of cool so if you are inflicted with fear and you need to deal with special reverse this character can still help you in that regard and then also a support that attaches to luchi or kaku and if you use luchi or kaku special it heals you by 5000 reduces one turn of bind and gives you a 0.6 chain boost for one turn pretty good luchi and kaku need more supports so this is another good character you could potentially use in that regard so yeah big fan of this unit seems pretty good like not not the best but it, it's fine perfectly perfectly fine now the the last one here this was a bit of a surprise seeing the three um seraphims as a one combined tm rare recruit with s snake s hawk s shark driven powerhouse dex one thing I wanted to note here about the character's captain ability, not a great captain ability, but it does resist bind despair, special bind, special reverse, and paralysis completely as a captain. So even though the multipliers are bad, the fact that it does that in the captain is pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look at that special though, because this special ability is kind of crazy. Resisting despair and special bind by six turns, reduces damage taken by 80% for one turn, changes adjacent slots, including block into matching, and then boost damage dealt to defense down or delayed enemies by 2.25 for three turns. Already, that, that's pretty decent. Good, good utility, orb change, and a conditional boost. Then it says, if you have a dex type character set as this character's support, when you use this character special, it's going to apply 70% damage reduction on the enemies for six turns. It mentions this effect is treated as an activation of damage reduction effect. So this whole effect is basically just to ensure that Rob Lucci and Kaku can get their captain ability to trigger so that you can generate the 2.25 attack and all boost with their captain effect. And remember that whenever the enemy gets damage reduction, they take minus 70% away from it. And this being inflicted is a 70% damage reduction, so it sets it down to zero. So this character is just perfect synergy with Rob Lucci and Kaku. So not only do you get the effect of, you know, if, if you have a dex type character support, you get the damage reduction on the opponent for six turns, um, which obviously can be bad in a lot of scenarios because it means you have to have another effect to remove the rainbow shield. But if you're using Lucci and Kaku, it doesn't matter. So you get the rainbow shield on the enemy, but then it will also delay all enemies for one turn, ignoring immunity to status effects. So there's a lot to digest with this unit here. So basically, when you're when you're using this character on a team, you don't have to use, you don't you don't always have to get the damage reduction on the opponent if you don't want to. It will only occur if a dex unit is attached to this unit as a support. So as long as you're not attaching a dex unit as a support, that whole secondary effect doesn't even activate. So you can still use it to just remove despair and special bind or whatever in whatever team you need. But if you're using a certain team scenario, you can do this to get the delay through immunity, the enemy gets a rainbow shield, but then you might potentially have ways to, to get around that. So a very unique special here, a very unique batch just all together with, with all of these units. This character does resist uh, the, the special bind, uh, which is really good with the, with the crewmate ability. Special bind and special reverse by six turns, that's exceptional. And then also this character cannot be blown away and reduces this character's own paralysis by six turns. That effect is pretty bad. I would have preferred it if it was just one turn but for the whole crew instead probably would have been a lot better but it is what it is um the character does also have fear resistance as, as well and this character support attaches to any dex unit that is also a driven character and the effect says that when that character uses a special to apply a chain lock it reduces despair by one and you get 40 percent damage reduction for one turn and of course the new rob lucci and kaku is a dex unit that is also driven and they also apply a chain lock so this support can attach to the brand new Luchi Kaku to provide those beneficial effects to the, to, to the squad. So yeah, this is a really interesting batch. I do think this character is a great TM rare recruit, can be used in a lot of interesting scenarios. I think Stussy is pretty generic, you know, nothing too crazy. And then Rob Luchi and Kaku have a phenomenal uh, captain ability being extremely unique. That switch effect also being able to be generated and be ready at the start of the quest is fantastic. I think this is going to be a very good future-proofed TM legend 
as it's going to be a unit that can be used in a lot of other um, TMs moving forward. So that's my opinion about this whole new batch. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this one, guys, down below in the comment section. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.